Man, I love apps. And I would say that puts me in a pretty decent spot to be the connoisseur of when a new app's gonna come out. I probably will know. And here are the three apps that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you to watch out for. Watch out. In 2023. Number one, Tana. It is one of the more interesting apps and phenomenons that's happened in recent months. Outside from the fact that their logo is pretty sus, this application has one of the more, I don't wanna say cult-like followings, but let's just say Twitter went crazy with this thing. It tries to make an argument that it's like some sort of obsidian notion, mind-bendingly amazing platform. And for more details, pricing-wise, you get a 45-day free trial and then $100 a year or $10 per month. And in the future, their goal is to have freemium combined with free trial subscriptions. The community on this has been going nuts. And overall, I do think the product can be pretty exceptional moving forward, given enough time and the fact that like, they get these crazy, like an app comes out and they're like, all right, if we hit the ground running with a following and we get support behind this, we will then make great things. And then if you have enough people supporting it, like with the notion craze of the last few years, the apps ends up being pretty good. And I got a feeling about this one. Now, looking at it from a more functional standpoint, I do think another one of these is Fibery that you should look out for. Fibery is a really good workspace application and does have some things to be desired. However, they have really done a great job at managing expectations and understanding what they are. Fibery versus X is one of the best pages they have. So Fibery versus these different applications. It just shows this. And it's like, what, what does this even mean? And then it gives a better view for what it means versus individuals. And I love these drawings. It's really adorable. And I honestly love the fact that they understand especially in this one that they are a work management team company whereas notions more knowledge management and can be used for teams or individuals and fibery just does a great job of having a lot of things within the application that really strike me as innovative and for the consumer they have mind maps which notion doesn't have obviously and they and whiteboards that clickup has are limited to a certain amount, but Fibery gives you full functionality of that. They have a really good base to make CRMs and project management within an application that has great relations. I mean, even coloring features and automations and integrations. There are a lot of really good things behind this application and without a crazy amount of backing or not, a crazy amount of craze behind the application. They've already shown to be one of the better ones that I've seen in the past year and would really recommend that you guys check this out. And then last but not least, Coda. Coda is one of the cooler applications out there right now and is definitely a Notion competitor people seem to want me to talk about more. I am definitely considering using this application more and more so that I can make videos that you guys want. And from what I can tell in this application, people really do like the way that it functions. And the reason that I think you should look out for this app is because it has a lot of things people are complaining about that Notion doesn't. It has like some you know, base level automation, it has buttons, it has a little bit cleaner of maybe a setup with the pages that exist, more functionality regarding the text columns, syncs to Google Calendar and whatnot already built in, and just a better overall API without having a native desktop app or Mac app. Well, their mobile app is definitely left to be desired. It's not good. Nobody likes that thing. I gotta say, if you're gonna have this much backing in comparison to notion in the community already and you don't even have an app it's just like web-based and people don't like the mobile app that means that you're a pretty scary player in this space and with their constant improvements i honestly got to give them a lot of credit and say they do beat notion in a lot of different categories and they do beat a lot of other project management and note taking management tools in a lot of categories definitely one of the scarier things to look out for in 2023 if you're notion or a competitor and this video is going to scare you because my face is in it and we all know how, how we feel about that.